Hi, Gloria Lightbecker here with Healing You. Have you ever felt that there's no time for you to be able to slow down to take care of yourself? Maybe you've been burning the candle at both ends and working really hard, might even be enjoying what you're doing and you're on a dopamine high because you're seeking circuits, having a blast. And yet then you recognize that you've overcommitted your time and and your energy as well. And sometimes you might even start to lose a sense of your own personal identity, that you become a human doing instead of a human being. And, and many times when we get that depleted, that stretched, then our moods start to do this. <laughs> and we find it's really difficult to stay on top of our own mo moods or emotions. They're like a roller coaster. Let me tell you a story. It was a few years back. My son was, my youngest son, was, oh, I think he was about nine. And he had sensory processing difficulties. And I didn't know a lot about it. I was learning a lot. And at that time, I needed to slow everything down to focus on my child and creating resources for him. And there weren't many, not locally where I lived. I lived out in the middle of the country. And so I got online and I started researching and I started looking for things and I started to find some new possibilities and I became really passionate about being able to um, learn some new methods for healing and for supporting a nervous system to regulate and self-soothe that I got really caught up in um, developing myself, reinventing myself. And I spent hours, um, I did a lot of different courses and I became an, an advanced practitioner with integrated listening systems so that I could begin to provide these resources, not just to my son, but I found it really helped me too. But during that, that period of time when I was seeking so desperately to find resources and to make a difference, especially for my child, I got pretty burnt out and I got depleted. And I would go through different waves of feeling helpless and hopeless and really needing to create support, to find support. And through that journey, um, I met this one physician that offered peer supervision, and he gave me some of the best words of wisdom. Um, I was doing a case study for a different child, and I was wanting to make sure I was getting it right, and I had made sure I was crossing all my T's and dotting all my I's and, and paying attention to the details. And one of the things he said, then he goes, well, no, it's not about finishing the program. It's, it's what does that nervous system really need for nurturance? And I know I've heard that before, and yet that day I heard that in a whole new level. So regardless of what we're ever doing and about and we're wanting things to be better and improved, it's important to really slow down and be right where we are to be able to tune in to the system. You know, our body is a system, a complex system. And when we're offering healing or holding that sacred space for other systems, we need to be able to tune in to see what is it that that system is needing. And then to be, to meet it right where it's at. Because until we can slow down and be where we are, we don't have the ability to grow or to change. So one of the things that I started doing is I listened with the system myself and I started tracking what it was like to be me and how was this supporting me. And I would take time to go out and be in nature and I 
loved getting to um, develop a mindfulness practice. I started looking for what are the ways that my system is nurtured. And so one of the most powerful things that I've been able to do is to keep a gratitude journal, to be able to take the time to notice in my day what I'm grateful for and to write it out. And then I draw a little flower or a little picture of some sort at the end of it as a little celebration. And we're also not meant to be um, in isolation. We do need to have fellow travelers on our journey. And what really supports me is to surround myself with a spiritual community that practices compassion. And that's really been a wonderful resource for me. So how about you? Do you have places or times in your life that you feel like you just cannot slow down to take care of yourself? Wouldn't you like to be able to experience that it's possible to take an interest in and to take time to engage in activities that you really enjoy and begin to do that consistently? What do you imagine that might look like for you? Here's one of my little friends. This is Polly. And I love spending time with her too. So thanks for being on this journey with me today. And take time to slow down and take care of yourself today. Reach out to me anytime at healingyousanctuary.com. <laughs>